it's, it's a huge opportunity for me. Um, as you said, I, I've had a great 11 great years in Claremont and uh, to finish uh, in first place uh, and now to kind of go out on my own terms uh, to come and help out uh, Canada as best I can. And, uh, it's, uh, it's a huge opportunity for, for me to get a, to be a part of the squad and um, you know to kind of like I said go out on my own terms after uh, after a great career there. It's uh, it's been a um, bit of a roller coaster the last few weeks, but I'm not very happy to be here. When you were playing in Capilano, did you ever see yourself playing 15th rugby game in BC Place? Uh, no, no. The, the, I was telling Mark in the in the car the last time I was sitting here, BC Place was for the monster trucks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, that's, that's going back a few years, but uh, no, I'm, uh, as I said, very proud to be, to be able to be here and uh, represent Canada and to be in a great uh, stadium such as this. is uh, It's a great venue, so uh, we're looking forward to it this Saturday. Mark, uh, every after World Cup is always a rebuilding uh, program. You're just joining the team, but what can fans expect to from, uh, from the 15s on, on Saturday? Uh, look, I think the way I can we can go from what the boys have put in in the last couple of weeks is they'll see guys that are pretty committed and proud to put on the jersey and uh, they'll um, they'll empty their tanks tomorrow on Saturday and they'll give it everything they've got. So, uh, you know, it's a op great opportunity for a lot of them and uh, it's the first point, I suppose, of uh, establishing or you know, laying a, a claim for the future and going forward and uh, I think that's a great opportunity for them and they're all excited about that and taking it. How do you, uh, to coach, uh, how do you analyze new Japanese national team? Um, yeah, that's good. We know just like ourselves, you know, uh, different coaches. Um, you know, a lot of players from both teams not here, so you, you can't really take a lot from what happened last year's uh, World Cup. It's fresh teams, good opportunity for both. So we, I suppose, they've done a similar to us is concentrate on themselves or what getting the little things right, get the details right, and. Uh, give the team confidence to be able to go and perform and uh, we're well aware of the type of rugby the Japanese like to play uh, so we've got to be alert to that and uh, uh, aware of the strengths that they have and the confidence they have with, uh, with the success they had last year that will flow on to this squad so uh, you know we're well aware of that but we've really put a lot of focus on ourselves for the last week. Rugby. Um, just wanted to say welcome home back to the British Columbia. I've got lots of friends and family in attendance. As a very experienced player, you're certainly able to meet the team on the field. You've had some experience with coaching on as well. Talk about what you'll be saying to the players in advance of the game or during the game, just to set that expectation of what can be success from Canada and sort of what you've learned at the international game that you can pass on to that next season. Thanks for calling me experience and not old. That's, uh, that's really nice of you. Um, uh, I obviously can't tell you exactly what I'm going to be saying uh, during the, before the game, but um, the message we've really brought through the last uh, last week, week and a half here is um, that uh, some of the, the younger guys less experience, uh, we really want them to just concentrate on their jobs so that they uh, they don't have too much to think about. You know, it's a big venue, there's going to be a, a lot of high speed rugby, things that they're maybe not accustomed to. And so we really concentrate on them just focusing on what they need to do to help the team. And uh, then the rest be reassuring, firing a few guys up. I know how, how it works in the group, who needs a bit of a smack in the ass, who needs to kind of be, uh, kind of be helped along. And um, so everyone's going to get a, a kind of something a little bit uh, personal over the next few days and have that for the last few weeks. But um, when it comes time to game time, it's going to be a, it's going to be a bit of Canadian uh, bravado, a lot of, uh, lot of noise, and uh, we're going to bring, uh, we're going to bring, as Mark said, 100% uh, uh, on the weekend, and, uh, and a hell of a lot of noise, which uh, hopefully we'll get the same in the crowd. Thanks, have fun. Time for one more question here, guys. Yes, uh, to both Jimmy and uh, Mark. Uh, obviously. Uh, after World Cup, there's players who are sure tired but want. How's the how's it been transition been for the guys coming in uh, into the team from the club teams and, uh, and how's that uh, as far as uh, you know, coming together and you know, building? 
Uh, yeah, it is difficult. Um, obviously, you know, it's well documented the, the number of players that aren't with us, but and also um, the ones that have been brought in, so it's new for all of us and uh, haven't had a lot of rugby, so it was a bit of the unknown. And uh, so when you're going through that process and find out a bit more of each other, you know, the one thing you want is the right attitude and commitment. And that's what we've had in bucket loads. And, uh, you know, I commend the guys that we've looked at over the last fortnight, their attitude and the way they've come in. And they're excited by the opportunity to be given a chance to represent their country. And, uh, you know, I, I commend them on their, their, their preparation, the way they've conducted themselves and how about their work. And uh, all you want from a coaching point of view is your players to, you know, challenge you to put them in the team. And our guys have done that. And, uh, you know, we're confident with, and happy with the team that we've put out for Saturday. And now, you know, they've got to the stage of the hard work they've done to now, uh, you know, try and put it together on the park on, on Saturday.